Ijo oke. Okay. Ibra, Ibra, ume, umepima mpaka kwa nyumba. Niko sawa. Ikatwe. Eh. Ibra, check 1 2 test, ikatwe. Ikatwe. Ibra confirm ikatwe. Eh. Confirm ya mwisho, ikatwe. Aya, tunatoka, tunatoka. <laughs> so guys, one of the challenges, one of the challenges we face with, with this uh, walkie talkies frequency, too crowded, everybody can listen to what you're saying, they're not encrypted, but anyway, we can uh, make use of it. So today we are doing an installation. The, almost the whole team is here, but not everybody. So um, uh, I think we are going to the rooftop. Then I show you something about uh, about the second episode of doing the installations. Come with me. Wait, get there. One They are not in the attire. But Mujo Sipuka recorded if you are Wendy Bingun. Oporo. Oporo. This the same word you have here. Man, Jan. Women you face Germany, the Yoko Bineno, or be watched your German. Men you took it, or your poor. Okay, so uh, something you need to understand. Just come with me. Yeah. So guys, this is all about doing home installation. So remember we did, uh, the first video we did was about doing surveys and uh, determining where to put your access points and all the things. So today I want us to talk about uh, doing a home installation as well as setting up or plotting to have, a, it's called what? A hotspot setup. Come, come, come. Jatelo. Um, guys, uh, come this way. Come this way. So, uh, this is this is Kisumu area. Don't mind the sun. Uh, that is the lake. I don't know if you can see it. That is the lake. And if you come this way, you have people living around this area. So the, the whole idea is, uh, just a minute, guys. Yes, Mutia uh, Fire. Wavrute Ju. Wavrute Ju. Okay. Okay, so uh, guys... Um, when you're doing a home installation, remember you are connecting from a multi-point. Uh, your access point is somewhere. Like in our case, our access point is in Mega Plaza. I'm able to see it. Yeah, I'm able to see it by eye. So um, our access point is in Mega Plaza, but we are here. Remember, wireless does not limit you. Wireless does not have limitations. The only limitations are where as frequencies are concerned. Remember, there are free frequencies. So everybody is jamming on it. So it might not give you the right capacity, but if you find the right one, then you are okay. But it, depending on the installations, wireless should not be limiting you 100%.
so you come to a place like this for instance uh, this is a place uh, where we have almost uh, i'm not sure how many families but the point is uh, this is a place where you don't do a multi-point connection this is a place where you do a point-to-point -point connection so you set up an, an access point on the other side and you also come and set up a cp on this other side cp is clan premises equipment on this other side then you do a configuration on a bridge then you introduce a switch in the switch people are able to connect just on the switch so you'll have to do a lot of cable cables in our case uh, we have done a bit of advancement a bit so what i mean is the clans they have the options of going on fiber or they will go on ethernet cables all we do here is we introduce i don't know if it's been given the name or not yet but something like a hybrid network whereas you can do a backhaul link on a wireless then you distribute it on fiber that is also an option here so in this case we want to do like a backhaul do a p2p after doing a p2p then we do a switch if a client is interested they can go for it again we also implement the hotspot just setting up access points in strategic places whereas when they are within their houses or within their rooms they're able to receive the signals let's say a, a client does not have two thousand shillings three thousand whatsoever the subscription fee it is but then they only have the 20 shillings or a hundred shillings so you have a package for that as well so there is no limit everybody should be connected we are in an age where everybody needs to get a connection so that is what exactly we are doing here today in this video i will also want to take an opportunity to thank you guys for giving us an opportunity to or a platform to share what we know and also get corrected thank you so much for them who are correcting where we are doing it wrongly but that is okay uh thank you thank you yeah, so guys uh, another thing i wanted to explain is some of us are uh, like uh, i thank god that through this platform we've gotten an opportunity to visit various parts of the country and also out outside and uh, we've done surveys in some places we've implemented the networks and all that but there are places that uh, we've not been able to for one reason or another if you are uh, if you have called us and uh, we've not come to your place kindly please bear with us because uh, we have to go as per as per i would say first come first serve so um let me explain something on that side there's a tower are you seeing that tower okay now <clears throat> so if you have a plan like this let's say you are in uh, the people in garissa the people in uh, lodwa the people who are very far you have such a setup like this there's a tower there if the tower is atc good for you you are going to have uh, a connection from that place with a very good uh, uh, very good rates if you want to go the sterling way that's also fine but the setup is still the same find a, a roof like this this is I, I believe this is the sixth floor or something like that so find a roof like this tap internet from the other side make sure it comes on a fiber if the tower is near near you like that if you have uh sterling mount it on such a surface like that introduce a switch somewhere give the rest of the people internet collect your monthlies and all that yeah so um basically that is how that is how uh a cpe works 
our video today we just wanted to join with the others that we did before episode one of setting up and doing surveys and all that so today is all about at the client side or at the client level all you need is a cpe after having a cp you are connecting from a multi-point or if you have a setup like this whereas not just one person is going to be connected but a number of them then you do a p2p point to point connection it will give you the capacity on the other side will come on this other side introduce a, a switch if you are new and you have a tower like that around you tap from that tower as long as it's able to let us know let us know we'll, we'll, we'll confirm for you if it's possible that you are able to have a capacity from that side but basically that is how it works i hope and i know that i have covered almost everything if not please you can ask the questions in the comment section below once again i want to thank you so so much giving us the opportunity the boys have not uh, rested enough and i believe we are going to rest the the last week of december so uh for now we just want to clear the backlog and also help you guys who are still in the waiting list to set up guys in arusha we are coming we are coming uganda i think we are done with you but uh no we are not done with you we are not done done with you <laughs> the setup is still going on but it's it's a virtual setup but uh, tanzania we are soon coming I, I do not know the dates but we shall communicate uh except that most of these places we are going to we are not able to record videos i, I hope guys you understand that uh, most of you will not want us to record that so we won't record it so with that one more time thank you so much thank you so much for sharing our videos thank you so much for commenting down there asking questions Thank you so much for correcting if uh, we are not doing it right. God bless you so much. God bless you. Thank you.